Good morning, traders. Michael Sabo here with MF Global here on uh, Friday, October 21st, bringing you some opening commentary here in the energy markets. Uh, let's start off here with a recap here. Yesterday, December crude oil prices. Uh, December crude prices, uh, uh, basically, throughout most of the session here, were a lot weaker. Uh, we got down to lows of 84.22, so saw a real nice pullback in here. Uh, we got to get some rallying up there a little bit later part of the day, and then the market kind of hung up there. Uh, outside markets were a bit weaker there as well and kind of strengthen here a little a little bit. A lot of this is being based off of here, this EU summit and the things that are going on as Germany and France are kind of deciding and debating on the size of this uh, bailout uh, package, uh, basically to prop up the European Union and, and exactly how they're going to do this. There seems to be a lot of debate going on. Remember, there's 17 countries there, and they all have to kind of come together on this. Greece, uh, excuse me, uh, 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 Germany, though, and France really kind of leading the way. Greece, as we know, is having a lot of problems, though. Uh, the, the, the riots that they're seeing there uh, is continuing to get more and more violent as they're passing these tougher austerity measures. So. But certainly we've got a lot of issues going on there. Um, I don't expect to see any resolution here this weekend. Yet I actually expect to see the market a touch weaker here right now. Because there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding this. Uh, but markets here right now are actually rallying up. They've been a little firmer. Outside markets are firmer. s and is pushing up here considerably this morning. Uh, the dollar is weaker and we're seeing a lot of commodities including crude uh, rallying. Currently that decent crude we're up 250 right now at 88.57. I, I, I can't, uh, you know, when I look at this market right now and I look at what's going out there, I don't believe the prices should be at these at these levels I think we should still see it just a touch weaker as we see a little bit of a risk off uh, type of uh, attitude but we're not seeing that right now so I'd caution traders on the long side you know if you're on the long side of that market I'd be very cautious uh, because I do think you could see prices pull back the markets are very erratic right now looking at the complex though much firmer here uh, Brent uh, 111 uh, 67 up 191 the Arbob 27004 up 4 34. Uh, the heat 307.15 up 4.49. So seen a lot of much firmer tone there. Um, the uh, uh, some of the economic data that we saw coming out of Germany here recently. Uh, they did a, a business sentiment survey there, uh, showing that amongst business owners here, it's coming to a four-month low here. So sentiment there seems to be really uh, uh, much you know, morale there, if you will. It's kind of a weaker tone here right now. Um, and with Gaddafi, you know. Uh, you know, confirmed here that he's been taken out now. A lot of people would think that'd be kind of, you know, uh, a bear share for crude, but in effect, you know, you look at that situation, I don't think it's going to have much of an impact on crude here right now. There is some degree of uncertainty as to when and how much crude is going to come back online and who ultimately is going to be in, in control there. This has been going on here for a while. So yesterday, you know, as that news was breaking, the market didn't really seem, I don't think, really react to it. And I don't think it's going to have much of an impact here just yet. So we've got to stay tuned to see how that uh, develops over there. Uh, Nat gas a bit weaker here this morning, around 377 and a half. Uh, we're currently we're off about five to six cents. We saw the injection numbers come out yesterday, basically about in line, uh, 103 a billion cubic feet. Um, so we've been seeing you know some rather large injection uh, numbers here. Uh, looking at the five-year average right now, we're running about 3.2 percent above that five-year average. So the net gas story still remains kind of the same. You've got ample supplies out there. Uh, I think the market is building a little bit of a base in this area. I still do like the. Uh, uh, or I think there's potential there on the long side uh, for that. Uh, on that market, but caution traders there. I think you really got to set up a decent strategy. I think you got to look at it here in the long term. You know, they've been talking here recently about winter here in the Midwest that we could see very cold uh, winter here, colder than normal, with a lot more uh, snowfall. So could be uh, interesting there nonetheless. So you know, if you, if you want to talk about this in a little bit more detail here, uh, discuss the crude oil market, give me a call, uh, or the net gas market, or any of the complexes, give me a call on the trade desk. The number is 1-800-798-7671. And as always, remember that past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results, and the risk of loss does exist in futures trading.